இங்கிலீஷ் ஜூனியர் மே நைன்டீன் கெட் ரெடி டென் செகண்ட்ஸ் ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் லேடிஸ் அண்ட் ஜென்டில்மேன் ஐ ஹாவ் கிரேட் ப்ளேஷர் இன் அட்ரஸிங் தி ஹெல்த் மினிஸ்டர்ஸ் கான்ஃபரன்ஸ் டுடே அண்ட் டு சே எ ஃபியூ வேர்ட்ஸ் ஐ வுட் ஆல்சோ லைக் டு நோ ஃப்ரம் யூ தி ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் தட் யூ மே ஹாவ் வித் ரெஃபரன்ஸ் டு யுவர் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் in the matter of public health and general welfare and the steps you have taken to solve them the idea is that the experience of one state may be useful to other states in dealing with similar problems as far as the central government is concerned the minister for health of the government of india who is also present here will explain to you during the discussions that will be held in the next 2 days about the various schemes that the central government are implementing for the improvement of health and general welfare of the people perhaps some may think that only a small percentage of the national income is set apart for medicine and public health but it should be remembered that the large sums of money that are spent under the various other heads such as education irrigation agriculture and industries also serve the purpose of raising the standard of living of the people and thus contribute to their health and welfare take for instance education the number of schools and colleges is increasing every year these institutions enable the boys and girls to receive education and make them aware of the value of healthy living similarly implementation of irrigation schemes means more water facilities for the large extent of land thus more acres of land can be brought under cultivation contributing to the increase in food production to the extent people get their requirements of food they will be free from hunger and will be able to lead a healthy life the housing schemes that are implemented by cooperative house building societies and other agencies will also help the people to live in comfort while it is a fact that the primary object of taking up a number of schemes is to improve the living conditions of the people and make them healthy citizens it is also necessary to pay particular attention to prevent the spread of diseases and to provide medical facilities within the easy reach of the rural people in this connection we have to take a serious view 
of the tremendous growth in population and see that the rate of growth is reduced letter from the managing director das and company anna salai madras to mrs george and company koyamuthur dear sirs we are in receipt of your letter of the 10th instant in response to our advertisement in the newspapers regarding the sale of our tea estate in the nilgiris we are glad to inform you that the price of rupees 30 lakhs offered by you for the estate may be agreeable to us but we are not in a position to accept it at this stage and give you our decision immediately as the matter has to be placed before the board of directors of the company we propose to place this subject before the board for its consideration and decision at its meeting to be held in a few days we shall inform you of the decision of the board in due course as desired we shall be glad to accept rupees 5 lakhs in the first instance yours faithfully stop